Hello everybody, and welcome to the Great Video Game Inventory Project. One man's quest to play and document all of his massive video game collection. I'm your host, Justin, and today we're going to be looking at Donkey Kong Country 3, Dixie Kong's Double Trouble. I'm gonna be honest, I have like no experience with this game. I think I may have rented it like once as a child, so we'll see how this goes. Um, hopefully it will go better than uh, my uh, Donkey Kong Country 2 gameplay, which again I feel like I have to apologize for. I don't care what you have to say, Wrinkly Kong. So... Okay. Huh. So, we actually have a sort of... free roamish overworld here. Interesting. So the rocks are blocking me. Maybe I need to go to Funky's Rentals. Yeah, I probably have to rent a boat or something. So let's go this way. Lake Orangutanga. Hmm. Well, first thing I can say is that the red enemies are certainly a lot less cartoonish than uh, the last game. And the crumblings are kind of weird. Oh yeah, I remember these guys. So yeah, I don't know how I feel about the uh, graphical direction of this game yet. It's a lot more realistic, I guess. But it just sort of looks kind of weird to me. Like, just the way, I mean, look at that Kremlin. He, just looks uncomfortable. Oh my god, it's an elephant. Why? Oh. He's trying to do something there. No elephants. Oh good. Bear coin. More things to collect. Of course, I discussed this in my last video, but in the Donkey Kong Country series of games, they seem to steadily escalate uh, in things that you have to collect until ultimately culminating in friggin' Donkey Kong 64. Where I can't even remember all the things that there are to collect in that game. got through. Oh my god. Those are serious bees. Like, were they genetically engineered to have buzz, buzz saws on them? That's kind of messed up. Uh, something tells me I need to uh, pull this lever first. There's a weird delay after... Uh, Dashing or rolling, that's kind of weird. Rolling seems to have recovery frames. You can tell I'm a fighting game player because I refer to things as having recovery frames. 
yet they are jump cancelable. So let's just skip the rules then to initiate my dashes. I feel like that will uh, lead to more success. Yeah. Alright, that's the key there. How does this elevator function? I know I probably shouldn't be asking these sorts of questions, but inquiring minds want to know. I still don't know how I feel about Dongyang Country 3's design aesthetic. It seems kind of weird to me. Of course, it may just be because I'm used to uh, the original two Dongyang Countries, but I can have my old man bias. Yeah. And it seems to me that there's no, it seems weird to me that there's no better way to clear uh, these stages. Look at this. Because that's huge in uh, the other Donkey Kong countries. <coughs> well, at least in uh, Donkey Kong Country 2. It seems weird that they took that out. Just like their neck, their neck look like their neck looks so unnatural. Like their head is peeking forward a little more than it should, in my opinion. It makes them look so alien, as opposed to the anthropomorphic lizard people that they are. Oh my god! Well, they made those surprise barrels a lot easier to locate, at least. Those fish look creepy. Look at those fish. That's like the look of a fish that's gonna come and murder your family in the night. Because as we have established in the Donkey Kong Country universe, fish are jerks. God, those fish are so creepy looking. I'm sorry, I can't get over how creepy looking those fish are. Interesting, so those... Uh, those fat birds seem to be, like, good. So... Donkey Kong Country is some sort of bizarre world where... Fish are jerks and birds are good. Screw you, I have cutscene invincibility. And suddenly it's winter time. And Donkey Kong Country's uh, climate patterns are weird. I mean, it looked like a sunny beach out of. Uh, out on the map, but nope, Winter Wonderland. Bash the baddies! I got a B coin! Another thing to collect. Thank you, Donkey Kong Country. So. Going off of an earlier uh, thought I had about Donkey Kong Country Kremlings, the Kremlings stationed here, were they like picked because of their ability to slip on ice? 
because unlike the jumping Kremlings from past games, it actually seems like they're not enjoying themselves. And they all slip so uniformly. King K. Rule's a weird leader. Bet the next stage is a boss, because that house looks sort of like an angry face. Man, this game just kind of throws bananas at you, doesn't it? So yeah, I didn't cover any of those stages in uh, DKC2, because I never actually got that far, but there are stages where, um... Huh, that's actually kind of clever. There are stages where, uh, you actually take the form of one of the animal friends. The elephant is afraid of the mice. I will say, that is kind of clever. I do like that. It's a nice little touch. Okay, so I've got to deal with it while it's not in light. I found a secret! I got another B coin! I have no idea what it does. But hey! Thing! Pro. Uh, why did they combine this with an elevator? <laughs> I've got to take the barrel there, so guess it was my fault. I should have been able to see such an obvious play. I blame no one but myself. Alrighty, first try. I am learning. Interesting, you can sort of angle your throws with this character. Hmm. Interesting, how that has never come into play before. <laughs> Alright, I'm close. 
I forgot flagpoles. Flagpoles are also like kind of hard to see. They need to be like more flashy. Oh my god. Okay. This is a weird boss. Okay. Okay, so this is a uh, space control boss. Crap. <laughs> so, I can only picture the Donkey Kong Country 3 design team. They're like, well, we have two of the uh, most highly revered games on the Super Nintendo. We need a first boss. What are we going to do? How about a giant barrel? Oh my goodness. That belches out barrels with bugs in them. And the supervisor's like, brilliant! Have a draft for me tomorrow. Oh, come on. He's totally off of that platform. Look at those eyes, too. Those lifeless bloodshot eyes. I feel like that would traumatize children. Kremwood Forest. Oh my god. Hey, you, those guys are monkeys. They should be on our side. Why do you betray your brethren? Like, these are clearly rats. Like, these aren't mice. I don't know, game. I don't know, the only thing I can think of is some, uh... Design team guy thought that the mice in uh, Donkey Kong Country 2 were too cute looking. What in the world is that? Let's find out. Jumping spider. Ong. What are they throwing anyway? Like nuts of some kind. What's there's a time flashing in the corner? Is that my time limit? I 
hear a lot of buzzing, but I don't actually see any bees. Oh god, they're the murder fish. Oh, there's like a swarm of something behind me. That's not unnerving at all. There must be an animal helper somewhere along the line that I missed. Does it look like you should be able to like jump on those bees? Near the end. You have a comforting G. <clears throat> that was kind of stressful. Riverside Race. Squeals on wheels. I do have to say, I am sort of liking these stage names. Wait, so them being on the conveyors are keeping the doors closed? How does that work? barrels everywhere. Why do they keep steel barrels in a wooden mill? Again, I shouldn't ask these questions because video game logic, but I can't help it. Hmm. There's still one somewhere. Probably over here. something special up there. But we don't have time for special stuff. Oh, there it is. Waiting for the elevator. Slow down. So strong. Okay, he seems to lob his a lot stronger than Dixie does. Not quite strongly enough, though. and my audience. What are the odds? Background. There's something over here. Oh, no. Bunch of empty space. You thought I was dead there, didn't you? Well, good, because I thought I was dead there for a second, too. Man, this is... Ah, this is essentially just reusing... Come on. There we go. What the 
hell is that? Oh, well, it's dead, whatever it was. Good night, sweet bird. We hardly knew ye. See, now look at that hedgehog. That hedgehog looks so cartoony. It's sort of at odds with all of the other, uh... All of the other enemies. Maybe that's what sort of unnerves me a little bit, because there's some enemies that are really cartoony, and there are some enemies that are just, like, seems like they were shooting for hyper-realistic, like the mice, or the rats, rather. Nice how these spiders are color coded. Oh my goodness. So, are the spiders like part of the Kremlin army or are they just sort of there? I mean, they don't seem to be threatening to me. So, spiders are good, apparently, in this game. Or if they are part of the uh, Kremlin army, spiders are incompetent. Though, I do have to say, spiders do receive a lot of bad PR, so... They're usually pretty friendly creatures. Well, not entirely friendly, but... They mind their own business. Generally. Until you squish them. Porcupine doing living in a tree anyway. In fact, I don't believe I've seen one uh, evil bird this entire game. So, it's maybe one of the uh, First games I've ever played that subverts the uh, Birds of Jerks expectation. Ow. Jumped right into that one. What's with things having faces in this game? Because that tree very clearly has a face. That's probably where the boss is. So far though, I'll say that this game uh, seems significantly easier than uh, Donkey Kong Country 2. I should have listened to it when it said LR. I probably suck up some water and spit it out. It's a very multi-function animal friend there. left eye just got really mad at me. Yep. Man, they've really tried to make a one animal friend to rule them all, haven't they? What is with that bird? I don't know, that's kind of freaky to me. It had a steel barrel inside it. Ah. 
don't care about you. What's down here? Anything? Doesn't look like he can really submerge. Slow down. Yeah, come on. There we go. That slow down too strong. That was a clever little stage. It really showcased uh, how versatile their uh, elephant characters are. Somebody was really proud of that uh, elephant concept. Oh my goodness. We got a boss. Man, this boss's hitbox does seem to kind of suck. Bouncy poison! <laughs> the best kind of poison. Crap. Thought I was safe. Was not. Bouncy poison balls, though. Oh, that wasn't safe. Look at how many lives I have. Man, that really, uh sort of hammers home the fact that this is this was clearly aimed to be a more um, friendly Donkey Kong Country which is a bit at odds with the art design being kind of grotesque at points so it seems like the only things on him that are actually hitboxes are his little claws oh my and obviously the bouncy poison balls. Because I can just hop on his arms. Crap. Dixie Kong is obviously preferable in this fight. And... is actually kind of hard as whatever his name is, Baby Kong. Because you've actually got to aim Dixie Kong, you can just like, that's not safe. The Dixie Kong, you can just sort of hold it. will beat my boss. Beat this boss. Not my boss. That would probably be bad for my employment. Viewers out there, don't beat your boss. It's generally not a good idea. Well, 
Animated hits. Man, you faked me out again. At least with uh, Dixie Kong, you've got sort of a shield there. Okay. Now wait. Crap! Oh, I are good at video games. Okay. It's not safe. Poison. I guess it's a good thing that this guy's hitbox kind of sucks. Because if it didn't, this boss would be silly. Mm -hmm. Perfect until the end. Okay, so far left. Jump. Jump wasn't shallow enough. Really? My great war with the spider. Attempt number five is this? Something like that. So this phase, he doesn't spit poison when he comes down. He just spits poison at the very top there. I guess that's to deter you from staying there for too long. Oh god, that's a bad spot. Spits poison. Okay, so left corner is a good initial position for that. And we collected his band-aid, for some reason, I don't know. Okay, I feel this is probably a good place to uh, wrap up for Donkey Kong Country 3. It is a good game, art style is kinda weird, but hey, whatever, solid game. Uh, easier than Donkey Kong Country 2, uh, that's already obvious to me. But, yeah, you should check it out. Uh, I believe it's on Virtual Console, so pretty easy to get. But uh, thanks for watching, um, and I hope to see you next time on the next installment of the Great Video Game Inventory Project. This is Justin, signing out.